Good day, fellas. I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill. And today we are going to play with a tier 8 Soviet uh, premium heavy tank. Uh, object 703 double penetrator. And fellas, I must admit I am in love with this tank for a very, very long time. I think it is quite a good credit maker and overall where this tank goes, I think it is kind of perfect vehicle. You have quite a bit of armor, you are not slow as you would play with a ball breaker. I mean, everything looks pretty fine with this tank. And you know what is the best part? This is the best part. You can go for two guns in the same time, fellas. Uh, <laughs> on the paper, where this tank goes, the gun handling on the paper, it looks dreadful. I mean, 0.35 uh, accuracy. Meanwhile, you are shooting someone in the other side of the map without bigger problems whatsoever, which is nuts if you would ask me. Anyways, 390 millimeters of penetration, 220... Um, 221 millimeters of penetration, 390 alpha damage, and quite fast shell velocity for a heavy tank. That is not bad by any shape or any form. And we will try to make it work. Whenever I am playing with the meta tanks, I am expecting to have uh, um, a great result. So let's see. My goal would be 4,000 combined for today's session, but obviously time will show absolutely everything. Now, if you will make a decision to shoot the gold, gold is quite nice as well. It is far away from being bad and... Whoa, oh, you naughty mother trucker. I see what you do. Hmm... Over peeking from my side, this is not very good. Okay, looks like I need to go with a gold ammunition here. I have an idea how I can approach the enemies. All I need to do, I need to go a bit back. So, I should have a better angle like so. And I do not really think they are going to spot me either. At least I do not really think so. Oh, Mr. Dede, Fede, how are you doing this fine day? Enjoying yourself? Kaboom. Unfortunately, we are not penetrating him, but that's okay. Let's go for a second round. Good. Very, very good. Now, once again, we are going to take our time to farm enemies who are sitting around this area. I think we are sitting very, very well overall, and I think we are able to do many, many, many bad things. No? Do, did we craft at a good enough angle? Yes, we did. Okay, excellent. This is exactly what I am looking for, and this is exactly what I need. As you can see, I have a double bush in front of um, me, so I am just chilling and I am enjoying myself. Mm -hmm. All I need to do, I need to wait until I can start doing damage here. This T10 is smart bugger, he is doing everything properly, and you know what? Soon he will regret his life choices and soon he will think, where the bloody F this mother trucker is sitting at? I can promise you that. This is what he is going to think in a moment. Meanwhile, I think we can go for a double. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful double penetration to the roof of the T-10. And yes, I paid the price for that, but I felt like uh, it is a good trade to make, right? I felt like it is going to be worth it. Meanwhile, what we are going to do now, we are going to go a bit back as before, and now we are having even better angle, right? I just do not want to sacrifice my health in this kind of situation. Oh, convoy. Please, RNG, bless my shot and let me... How you can hate this tank, fellas? How you can hate this tank? Think about it. You have a magical button when suddenly your damage is doubling, right? And I must admit, whenever I was playing with this tank um, for Mark of Excellence on over, or overall, you know, I played with this tank on multiple accounts, my challenge account, my main account, whatever. I felt like I am sometimes killing my gains just because of the ability to go for a double penetration, if you know what I mean. But it is a lot of fun. Obviously, whenever you are going into the heavy line, especially against the higher tiers, you want to shoot some of the uh, heat ammunition for obvious reasons, right? It's just beneficial and uh, this is how you should do the things. Meanwhile, do we have, do we have Motion who raised PP in the air? No. I'm disappointed. He denied my sacrifice. 
Okay, fellas, first game done, 3.5 thousand damage, 600 assisting damage, I do not feel bad about this performance, we are top by experience, top by the damage, we made 88,000 profits, although 50,000 comes from uh, uh, from completing the mission, because it happened to be that I fired quite a bit of the gold um, in the same situation, but that is fine, let's go for seconds. Okay, round number two, outpost standard battle, and we are sitting pretty well overall. Um, the same tier matchmaking, which I appreciate and which I really, really like. Now the main decision what we need to do, do we want to go into the middle or do we want to go into the heavy line? This is the biggest problem for me to figure out what, well, it's not a problem, it is just making a decision where do I want to go. I could try to punish someone going on top of the hill with a double shot, so I think I am going to do that. I think this is going to be worth it and I think it is uh, it is the right play. Overall, after that, we can relocate somewhere over there around the corner to punish someone who will try to make a bit of pressure like this and whatnot. So, I think we are feeling pretty well. Bizonta, nice. Okay, now let's wait for a moment. It doesn't look like enemies are going to go to the mid, right? Yeah, I think our Renier and Tiger and whoever else will, uh, will look towards this side, they are going to secure it. So what we are going to do, we will try to play in the heavy line. I think this is the correct way to do the things. We are going to join our Su-130 as well. No Su-130, are you ready to share the position with me? Come on, T-44, just go up. Just go up, no one waits for you here. You are safe, everything is fine. Try to take the upper position, buddy. I know you want to. Overall, making pressure like this whenever 53 TP is hold down, I do not really think it is really worth it, fellas. Um, making pressure like this is no bueno either. Going like this to the middle, it's not really worth it yet either. So... All we need to do in this situation is just to be patient and just to wait until enemies will become impatient themselves. I think this is the best way for us to do the things. As an example, as you can see, oy oy, T44 made the decision to cross. He crossed, he enjoyed himself, and yep. The situation is looking way, way, way worse for this gentleman now since he doesn't have hit points left. Himera makes pressure? Okay, listen, I have an idea. I'm going to get involved in the city. I think this is exactly what I want to do. Now, I can do a smart trades with Himera or whoever else, right? If they are going to be aggressive enough to get involved here, we are booming and we are chilling and we can spank them like there is no tomorrow. This is exactly what I want to see. Uh, if I would peek like this, I do not really think that is this is uh, this is worth it. Oh, hi. Well, this T44 gave up on his life apparently. <laughs> this T44 lost so many hit points while crossing to the typical position. He just simply gave up. He said, "Eh, you know what? I am going to risk it for the biscuit." Whoosh, straight to the garage. Okay, Bizonte relocated over there. Interesting. Maybe I could actually take the higher position here now. This is what I am thinking. Can I do this? Well, we'll see. Okay, he just fired. All I need to do, I need to cross like so. Stock. Stock T32. Unfortunate for him, I guess. Oh. We can eliminate this guy from the game just about now. Nice. Excellent. Very, very good, fellas. Very good. Now, can we go for Chimera? I would love to make pressure. My man, what do you think? Let's go. Let's go, 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 go. Yes! Yes! Woo! 
Okay, okay. Style points for you, buddy. Style points for you. That was a beautiful ram from this guy's side. And now all we need to do, we need to mess up this Bizonte. Pretty much he is dead already because we are just making a hardcore pressure. And he wish he could survive this, but not today, mate. Not today. Better luck next time. And what we want to do, we want to say hello for this gentleman. Excellent. This is exactly what I want to see. We tracked him. I believe we detracted him as well. And now we can start moving to the other side. But before that, there is no before that. Excellent. Very, very good. Now, we are enemy team goes i would say enemy has no team whatsoever right the situation is seven to one uh we won the heavy flank which is very very nice and i am happy about this but still oh but still there is quite a bit of stuff for us to do nah fellas I am addicted for a double penetrations. It is, it is so beautiful. It is so nice. You met Lorraine, you spanked him for 800 in literally a couple of seconds. And if you prepared for this, it will take literally for you a second. Um, and you are having a blast, honestly. Very, very nice game. Where the score goes, though, um, I'm not very satisfied with it, right? We have like 3,000 combined at this point. I would like to push it to um, 3.5, maybe 4, but I do not really think I am going to be able to do this. And it's, I don't really think I play this battle badly. I just simply think enemy team had no team, and even though we made quite a bit of pressure whenever we had a chance, uh, it was just meh. Not much what we can change about this, I guess. There is a chance we might find a shot for the Arta or to the Arta, but we'll see. Mm -mm. Not a chance. Sue will take his life and uh, there is nothing what we can change about this. Okay, fair enough. 2.2 thousand damage, 800 assisting damage. Where the score goes? And we are back. 2.3 thousand damage, 800 assisting damage, we are top by experience, we are top by the damage. As you can see, none of our uh, team did that well where the score goes. But once again, this is a 6 minutes game. At first it was kind of slow and after that all we did, we went through the, through the enemies without any questions asked, right? We made 113,000 profits, which is nice, although 40,000 comes from the missions as well. Let's go for round number 3. Okay, and the last but not least, we have Tundra. Now, hear me out. I am going to risk it for the biscuit in this situation. I am not going to go to the heavy line. I'm not going to go on top of the hill. I am going to go through the middle. Why would I do something like this? Well, the answer is quite simple. This is high risk, high reward play. There is a humongous chance we are going to finish the game with an average score or maybe below average score and there is a humongous chance that well maybe not so good of the chance that we are going to finish with a 5000 while covering um left and the right sides the main reason why i made a decision not to go on top of the hill is because i am kind of slow right and i would love to punish enemies sitting somewhere over there and believe me they are going to sit here I really doubt um, they are going to make a hardcore pressure. Well, at least I hope so. I hope they won't. Now, what do we need to be afraid from this position here? We need to be afraid of the sniper schnitzels and we need to be afraid of the artists, right? So first of all, we are doing a first sniffing run over there. We are trying to go up, but not too much up, right? And whenever someone would get spotted here, because they will, um, we can actually slap them very, very, very hard. This is what I would love to see and this is what I want. But now the question is, oh my bananas, help. The question is, what I supposed to do for this T95? This is the question. In fact, I'm instantly loading gold because we need to. And now I am just waiting for him. I am just waiting for him until he will say, yeah. I am ready to go. Oh, yes, this is going to be awesome. Let's push on him. This is exactly what I am waiting for. Beautiful shot from our side. Very, very nice. Let's try to relocate as well. And once again, this Char Futur, he's covering us. 
This chair footer is definitely covering us. All I need to do, I need to be smart. How am I approaching this guy? And as you can see, I am building kind of annoying angle for him because if he is going to go in, good luck to deal with me. This is what we are working for. Also, there is a big chance the CLC thinks that I am free meat. And if he thinks I am a free meat, we can spank him. Exactly. Exactly. He's thinking I am a free meatball. No, 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 no. Not like this, my man. Not like this. T95 is considering his life choices for making a bit of pressure and T95 just fired. What that basically means, that basically means we need to go for him. We should have a decent enough angle to penetrate him into Cupola's or into the lower plate. Cupola shot beautiful. I think we have time for one more before he will reload, so that is okay. Actually, not really. You know what? It's okay. If I won't mess the other shot, we are feeling very, very well and we are feeling okay. Although the question is, will I mess the other shot? No, I won't. Excellent. Very, very nice. Arta obviously helped us heavily in this situation. We have 1.9 thousand damage in this situation, but once again, um, it is far away from being ideal just because enemy team has no team. This is, this is the problem, this is the biggest problem, I would say. What we noticed, um, what we noticed in this session, that we are quite lucky we are Opa. We are quite lucky we are the team Ghost, right? We are getting those winning teams and those winning teams are not allowing us to farm that much. Which is quite a sad thing, but what can you do? Not much, I guess. So, all in all, kind of average game here, honestly. I do not know what I could have done differently with my play. I think with a decision to go in the middle, it wasn't the worst decision ever, you know? I cannot say that was, that was just bad. But I think we are going to go for a fourth game with this tank as well, because game for now, game is not giving for us. Uh, so that is okay. We will make it work, fellas. We will make it work. Let's see the score. Okay, and we are back. 2.1 thousand damage, 300 assisting damage. Definitely far away from being ideal. We are first by experience, we are third by the damage, and we made 41 thousand profits. This tank is worth so much more than this session goes for now. We are playing for 2.6 thousand damage and 600 assisting damage. And you know what? I think we are going to go for one more. Um, I believe the fourth battle is going to be the charm. And I believe we are going to uh, have like um, casual 5,000 or something. Let's see. Can we do this? Okay. Round number four. And look at this. This is, this is quite an interesting one. I do not mind this map. Um, if I can say so. And the main reason why so. Because this is a city map. Matchmaking though, we are playing against the tier 10s, but those tier 10s are medium tanks, so I do not really think we would struggle to penetrate them so much, you know? But overall, we'll see how th what this game will bring for us. We'll see, fellas. So first things first, I really want to take this corner. From this corner over there, we can punish guys who are uh, considering uh, their life choices by going somewhere in the mid, or alternatively, who are sniping from a bit uh, more back, right? That's what I like to see at this point. No. Okay, Hawk is kind of regretting his life choices. We cannot blame him for that, can we? Hmm. Okay, how about going up like this? Mm -hmm. Enemy Arta is sitting somewhere in the typical position, so as you can see, our guys will get pretty much permanently stunned, which is no bueno for them, but not much what they can change about this. And now, I would love to see this, um, this Progetto 66 uh, getting a bit involved. I would love to see that. I cannot make pressure such as, you know, just simply go through a lot through the middle. This is not going to pay off for us. I want to be smart. How am I approaching the enemies and what kind of decisions am I making? I want to be smart with this. And in the same time, eventually this Koda can say, yep, it's time to shine. It's time to go. 
Whenever he is going to do so, I am going to be nearby. Also, meanwhile, I think what we actually could do, we could go for a blind shot just like so, I guess. Why? Because there is a big chance they have at least one sniper schnitzel sitting around this area and if they do, um, we can obviously punish him for free. Because currently we do not have any action whatsoever in the heavy line. And I wish to say something different. I wish to say, yes, we can be super powerful and so on. No, we cannot. We cannot be super powerful at this point. That's okay. Very, very nice. I like it. I like the situation a lot currently. Now, do I want to make pressure through the middle? Our team isn't winning. Our team isn't winning at this point. You know what would be my goal? My goal would be blah, 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 to, throw, to go through a law like this and then to say hello for Sue. But I am afraid of one thing. If this Progetto would see us going and they have a light tank as well who will be extremely annoying and once again please keep this in mind that our team isn't winning this game i have a feeling that we are going to lose this side the score is kind of equal we do not know how many hit points enemies has there and i believe this is very important thing to highlight okay excellent progetto will get involved mm, hard to calculate this I was thinking about going for a double penetration here, but I figured out it is way too hard to calculate this. So I would rather go for secured uh, single shot, if that makes sense. That's okay. Now we have a very, very nice crossfire around the middle. And you know what? This is good. This is real good. So, whenever enemies are getting spotted while traveling through the middle of the field, we have a very, very, very good angle to spank them. Oh, hi there. You want to play the game? You want to play the game? Let's play the game, my man. Let's play the game. So, listen. I know you have alpha damage and I salute you. But what I have, I have... Uh, I have something else. It's called two guns. So you know what that means? That means you are still on the reload and I have another shot. And that means if you are being aggressive, you are going straight to the garage. Beautiful. Very, very nice. I'm happy about this play. Now, how to get more use? How to get more use, fellas? We lost all the side as expected. Uh, not a big surprise, you know, I cannot say, oh, really, we lost the side? I haven't seen that one coming. No, no, I, I felt this one coming for sure. Now, curve, 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 curve on. Oh, another Sue. I was thinking to go for a double, but I changed my mind. I think single will be good enough. And now I want to see where is the curve, curve, curve on. Curve, curve on is not sitting here. Okay, Conqueror. We are going to go for a Conqueror now, for a double penetration now. For a double penetration now. Bam. Excellent shot, very, very nice. And now we need to start thinking about this Su who is sitting in the middle, right? So far the game is good. I, I feel like I am in the game. I feel like I am making a very, very good decisions um, where, the, um, where the decisions uh, goes, right? To, to push, to play safe, what to do overall. I feel pretty confident with my decisions overall. So yeah, that is a good thing. What I do not like, I do not like this knocked tree. I really do not like this knocked tree. Because he is blocking our vision, and this is the biggest problem. And now Progetto tier 10, obviously he's going in because he doesn't care, that is fair enough I guess. Can our face hit him once again? I am... I haven't blocked him. I haven't blocked him, fellas. I'm feeling good with my decisions. What am I doing? And now I would love to get another angle. Okay. Very, very hard to penetrate him. 
He tried to make it easy, but uh, what's from that? Meanwhile, Arta from behind. Unfortunate, but not much what I can change about this. And now we have enemies being angry on us. And oh, how angry they are. And oh, how angry they are, fellas. No. Easy to say, stop your advance. Easy to say, my man. Easy to say. Okay, good. We dodged Arta, we dodged Progetto shooting us. That is absolutely glorious. I feel very, very, very well in this kind of situation. We are doing some solid heavy lifting here, fellas. I'm telling you, this tank is awesome. And even whenever you are a bottom tier son of the banana, you still can make this tank work. What is the problem is this Arta? Arta is definitely a problem in this situation. And this Progetto is sitting very, 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 very well. No, Progetto. Come on. I know exactly what I want to do. I want to sit safely here, okay? The main reason why am I feeling so safe over there is... At least Arta should not be able to spank us. Yep, yeah, as you can see, Arta is shooting from somewhere over there. And once again, we are feeling relatively safe. Now... What is the plan? What is the plan and what we could do in this situation? I really want to go for this Sue, fellas. I truly want to go for this Sue, but I will wait until Arta will shoot. How about that? How about that? Okay. Sue is thinking about going for us. Progetto. I saw the Progetto. What a smart bugger. He approached us like so. Once again, I mean, this is a tier 10 game, but I do not feel like I played any of those games today badly. You know, it's much making. Sometimes it is giving to you, sometimes it doesn't. In this situation, I truly feel good and I feel like I played well. Maybe just only me. Um, tell me, maybe I have done something wrong. Anyways, let's go to the scoreboard. Okay, fellas. First class, yip yip hooray. 3.8 thousand damage, 400 assisting damage. Once again, not a bad session by any shape or any form. But sometimes games are very, very quick and it's hard to craft, uh, like, super score, right? Um, 86,000 profits as well. Nice. And after four games, our average performance is 2.9 thousand damage and 500 assisting damage. Definitely not... A horrible session. I would not call it bad. But still, in my mind, this tank deserves a bit more. Anyways, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your daily dose of skill. And see you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.